All right. Shall we interpret the problem? Find the two things that are equal and write an equality statement. Find the amount in the problem that's given to you, an actual amount that's given, not an equality statement. And that's that 0 0.523 moles of C. Put that over 1. Build the equality statement so we can cancel out the units. Okay? And then you do the math. Say what now? Uh, I'm going to talk about this in a second. Okay, hang on one second. It looks like four, but actually this zero is a placekeeper. Okay, there's only three significant digits. We haven't gotten to that yet, so don't sweat it too much. Okay, so um, 0 0.523 times 12.0107. And the number that I get, or the answer that I get here on my calculator... 6.2815961. We didn't cancel out grams or carbon, so we have to keep that. Okay? But according to our rules we gave you just a minute ago, or I gave you just a minute ago, I'm going to look at the measure to calculated numbers. The ones here are counting numbers, so we ignore those. The measure to calculated numbers are these and this, or this and this. Um, and we're going to choose the one of these two that has the least digits. Okay? Now, if you look at this, you might say that's four. Don't sweat that because we haven't gotten to that part of significant digits yet, but this zero is not significant. So we really want three significant digits here. Okay? Wait, what? So just three? Yeah. You know, you could leave off that zero, couldn't you? Yeah. Okay, you could just write 0.523 and wouldn't change the value wouldn't change the precision. That's why there's only three significant digits there. That's one way to think about it. Okay? Here's a shortcut to that. Leading zeros are not significant. We'll talk about that later. But leading zeros are not significant. Okay? So three significant digits. One, two, three. Underline everything else. Draw an arrow. Very good. There you go. And then 6.28 grams of carbon. Why would I? You got a one here. It's got to be five or above to round that up. No, because I don't want to get rid of the eight. I got to keep the eight. All right. Well, let's see. We're running out of time, so I guess this is going to have to be a homework problem then. No, I need your homework to be on a separate sheet of paper. Be ready. We, you're, you're always ready to turn your homework in. That's why you always put your homework on a separate sheet of paper, okay? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple of hints here. The symbol for liters is a capital L. Okay, you already know that moles can be MOL. I think that's about the only shortcut we need here. All right. Hmm? Yeah, I think we'll just I think we'll just give you one on the today. You wanna do four? No, 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 no,
<laughs> yeah, liters of CO2 gas, yes. All right, now let, let, me, let me give you a couple of heads up on a few things, okay? Let's say sometime this weekend before oh, 9 o'clock on Sunday night, you're actually doing your homework, okay? And I would suggest you do it tonight, and here's why, because it's fresher, right? If you wait till Sunday, it's going to be foggier for you. So if you do it tonight, and you, you get stuck somewhere, how can you get help before Monday? Huh? Email me. Okay? If necessary, like I said, I can get on Skype and work with you. Okay? If I have permission from your parents. All right? <laughs> What's the matter with that? It, if, if it got, comes to that and you really need that kind of help, Skype, Skype video chat. yeah, video chat. What I, what I would have to do is your parents have to be there. And when we sign on, I'm, I'm going to ask to see your parents, and I'm going to let them know. I'm going to see, see them and have them tell me, yes, it's okay. All right? And then I'll be glad to work with you. All right? If it comes to that, I, I'm assuming for something like this, email will be enough. Okay? Got it? All right. Or I might just refer you to a video that I already have online to help you. Because I've got a bunch of those on the website. How many of you have been to the class website yet? Okay. Well, you might want to at least look at the class website. When you go to the class website, the address is www.tetterchemistry.com. There's a link to, there's a, uh, on the top, there's a little tab up there for CP Chemistry. And there's a whole bunch of videos on there already. Okay? So if you get stuck on something, you can look at some of those videos if you want to. Or, like I said, I can, I'll, I'll probably have some of these on there too. Yeah. Did you grade on work on it being correct? Somewhat, yes. Um, I grade homework on the correctness of the process okay so you get each step in setting up the process is partial credit so if you don't have a an equality statement that's points you lose so do everything I teach you to do and you're gonna be fine yeah huh yeah let me stop the video here